I just wanted to go over a couple little things for this week's experiment. You already know how to do most of it, but this week we're going to be analyzing an unknown. So there are just a couple things in getting our unknown ready that I thought I'd go over so that we could have a better time of it. So first of all, our unknown is, let me come in a little bit closer. Your unknown really is just a little rusty powder like this. So how do we get this unknown out of this vial and into this beaker without spilling it and in a way that we'll know the mass? Well, the easiest way to do that is by a little bit of subtractive way. So first of all, you're going to get your unknown. Make sure you write down the unknown number. Come over to the balance and get the mass of the entire vial. So this vial with or in it happens to weigh 4.577 grams. That's the vial plus the ore sample. So now that we know the mass of the vial with the ore in it, we need to dump this ore out, but Again, how do we do that without making a mess? Well, the easiest way to do it is we're going to take the cap off, put it in the upside down beaker, hold it tight against the top, and flip it over. So here's my ore sample. I'm going to take the cap off of that ore sample and Let's put it in a beaker, get it tight to the bottom of that beaker, turn the beaker over, and lift up the vial. Now I've transferred my ore into the beaker, I've gotten everything out of the vial, and I haven't made a mess. Now that the ore is out of the vial, we can put the cap back on and once again record the mass of the now empty vial 4.463 grams and subtract to find the mass of ore that we dumped into the beaker so in this case I put 0.114 grams of ore in the beaker. So that takes care of getting the ore out of the vial and into the beaker, but now how do we get this ore in solution? We have to dissolve this by doing a digestion with acid, and to do that we better move into the hood. So we've got our ore in a beaker, and because we're using strong acid to dissolve it, we better work in the hood. I've got a hot plate here that's already preheated. To dissolve this, we just want to take a couple squirts of strong acid. This is concentrated hydrochloric acid. So using the dropper, I'm going to take maybe two good squirts. Let's add a little bit more. Okay, that's good. So I've added my acid. And now if you look closely, you'll see that, well, it's maybe starting to dissolve a little bit, but not a lot. So to get it to completely dissolve, we need a little bit of heat. So let's put it on the hot plate. Now the important thing to remember here 
is that we want it to heat up, but we do not want this to boil. So, we'll put it on that hot plate, and we can let it sit a little bit every once in a while, but we'd really like to swirl that. Now, as we heat it up, the acid will start dissolving the solid that's in there and all of that reddish color that you see will go away. So you can probably already see that it's starting to get a little bit less red. A little bit more towards the orange side. And if you want to check, you can always take it off momentarily and just take a look at it. Now you can see all of the dark solid has dissolved, but there's a little bit of white solid in there. White solid is actually okay. I'm going to warm this up just a little bit more to make sure that I get it all dissolved. And if we look nice and close, you can see it's not boiling, but it is pretty warm. So that definitely looks like all the solid that was in there has dissolved and you can maybe even see that it looks like it's just about starting to boil a little bit as well. So at this point, I'm ready to make up my 100 milliliter stock solution. But we've got a little problem. We've got a very hot sample of very concentrated hydrochloric acid. If I take this solution and walk across the lab with it, you can even see a little bit of the fumes coming off, I'm going to leave a huge cloud of really, really nasty HCl vapor in my wake. So before you leave the hood, we can do a couple things to help ourselves out. The first problem, this is really hot, so we'd like to cool it down. The second problem, it's really concentrated, so we'd like to dilute it. So, let's reach over here, and if you just take a wash bottle with a little bit of water in, you can see as I add water, it definitely gets much more yellow than orange. So, what, I added maybe 15, 20 milliliters of water. By doing that, I've cooled the solution down, and I've diluted it, so now if I bring it outside the hood, it won't be quite as smelly for everybody else around the room. So now that my ore sample is dissolved and diluted, I can bring it back to my bench, dilute it up to 100 milliliters in a volumetric flask to make that initial stock, and then continue on with the experiment much the same way we did last week.